Bees, another another disappointing home result, really, that one. Yeah, um, disappointing result. I thought first half, I thought there wasn't much in the game. I thought they started well, but then once we got to bits of the game, I thought <coughs> at times we opened them up and should have probably done a little bit better. Um, and then second half, obviously we give the ball away in the middle of the pitch, we don't recover well enough. And, you know, they, they score what just looks an easy goal from our point of view, the back post. Um, and then, you know, they scored another one on the counter attack, and then we got back ourselves back in the game. But we still had a chance the second half, you know, Connor had a good chance, and then at 2 1, Isaac had a great chance of equalising, and then they wide. And then, obviously, you're chasing the game, and, you know, you leave yourself wide open at the end, so that's why we went 3 1. Your away form has been, has been pretty good this season. What, what do you think it is about the difference between playing away and playing at home, and so why are you finding it maybe? A little bit of difference is it more that playing away suits the style of play that perhaps possibly, you're using? but I think we've only got two points difference, so it's not that massive difference. I just think you want to win your home games. You know, people come to watch you, come support you, and it's disappointing when you don't win, and it hurts us. It hurts us a lot. You want to win every game, of course, but especially at home, it's our, it's our own ground. It's you know what we've built here, and the last last few years we've been great at all, but at the moment, you know, the last few this few uh, results haven't been good enough, and there's something we need to we need to finish before the end of the season. We don't want to finish with another defeat in a couple of weeks, so we've got to dust ourselves down and get ready. Really, was it a sort of game? I'm not saying that you didn't have anything to play for. Of course, players are still achievable, but you know, Dalit and desperate, you know, mm -hmm. fighting for their lives, and I thought they were very good. They were very organised, and mm -hmm. you know, they knew they were almost it's almost like last chance to for them. They had to win. No, I, I don't think so. I think you know. This group of players have been outstanding for this club, you know, over the last few years, and I think, you know, the pushing them to be to be speaking about playoffs with four games to go is a testament to how far they come. Um, obviously, you know, we're probably not going to get there, but that doesn't mean we can't keep fighting and keep keep pushing and keep trying to do better. And that's what we've got to do. It's up to me and the staff and the players now to dust ourselves down. We've got to go to Sandworth and stop them winning the league next week. Did we see a little bit of maybe what you've been missing there? A bit of variation centre forwards, of course. They, had, they played the two centre forwards, and I thought they both played really yeah, well. I think, so, yeah. I think obviously Josh is carrying this injury, which we're trying to nurse him through till the end of the season. But you know, at times it, 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 it's affecting him, and you know, it gives us it gives them it gives us options to use him and not to use him. But we've got to keep nursing them through, and obviously they they've got two good forwards. I, mean, I think Cedric Murray is very good. He, he, I think we've made a difference today. I think when last time he played, he was very good as well. So I think you know you just sometimes give credit to the forward. He's done well for him. Uh, Andre Wisdom uh, started on the bench today. Just explain that one. Yeah, he's um, he's fasting at the moment due to his belief. So I think it's really difficult for him to to play back-to-back -back games in the day when he can't, you know, take on water and take on food and, you know, that was Saturday and uh, Friday, looked really, really physically tired and we had a chat and it was probably the best thing, right thing to do for him. And we'll end on a, on a bit of a positive, Sean Williams made his, his 200th appearance for the club today, how good of a player has he been for you but also for the club in general? I think been brilliant for me, brilliant, yeah, he's obviously our, you know, our vice-captain, he, he never really misses a game, he's always around, he's a good leader in the dressing room, he's been an outstanding player for this club and, you know, to play 200 games for the club is a testament to him and hopefully as many more.